All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to build a pattern for a six inch Atlas compound slide. So let's get to it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. So we've got a couple of uh, new projects here in the shop. Uh, these are compound slides off of, uh, I believe this one is off a 10 inch Atlas lathe. And this is the uh, little tiny one off the six inch Atlas lathe. And uh, we're going to make these into patterns. <clears throat> So we're going to have to, where this dovetail is, this is a machine surface back here in the back end also, but where these dovetails are, this face back here, uh, this is all going to have to get built up because it's going to have to get machined down. So you have to have extra material to get through the hard scale and, uh, you know, have enough that you can get into good clean metal that machines easy. Same back here, we're going to have to extend this and we'll probably close off the back end. And then when they machine it, it'll, it'll, you know, leave the opening there. Um, this one isn't uh, super bad. The casting is pretty good. Although, you know, somebody has uh, crashed into it here. And this has been nicked up real bad and sort of looks like somebody's ground away on it. Uh, but that's, uh, that's repairable. Uh, you know, we could just fill that in when we're done. That's not a problem. <clears throat> And on here, this surface, all this is going to get, you know, cast solid. And we're going to build this face up so that he can machine back to where it is. And uh, I'm not quite sure. i got to ask him, you know, if you put a uh, AXA tool post onto this thing and you try to turn it, it hits this little step that's right here. So I got to see maybe he might want this to be a little bit extra high so that it could be machined and left you know, above this surface or even with it, uh, that might be something useful for his customers. Uh, same is true with this one here. Now this, this little slide, boy, this thing has really had a rough life. <clears throat> Everything's good here on the backside and underneath all that sort of stuff. Uh, but right here, it's been broken off right there. There's a big crack where they cracked the T out of it. And then they, the, held it in there somehow and they drilled and put screws in it to hold it into position and the front all the way across here this whole piece has been snapped off and i guess this is a very typical failure for this because this is not very thick it's undercut to right here and there is not a lot of uh meat in this area here god it can't be more than an eighth of an inch maybe so this is not a very strong casting in that part um but that's okay you know, we're going to fill all this back in and cast that as a solid piece again, and he can machine brand new ones. In fact, he actually makes some out of steel, which is a pretty good way to go. But, you know, it's just squares and have the nice styling, I guess, as these do. And there's plenty of people like to have original looking parts. So the, the biggest problem I see with this one right here, let's see if I can get it lined up. Okay, where it was broken and pinned back on, this top piece sticks out past here. So let me get it square, see if we can't sort of show that. All right, okay. There you go. You see how there's a, I mean, I'm against the casting, but you have to see how you can see the light through there? Well, that's negative draft, okay? Draft in a pattern, is uh it's an angle right so from here to here it needs to angle this direction right so that when you pull this out of the sand as soon as it comes loose there's going to be a little bit a little bit of wiggle room in there and you have to have that so i'm going to have to uh, make a decision here about this i was thinking about just using the belt grinder to you know grind the draft back onto that but now I'm I'm going to be making this piece thin again so we may want to go the other way and actually build this out a little bit and that might actually make this casting a little bit stronger I would hope gosh I didn't even notice it but there's even a hole right here so this is I'm, I'm I wouldn't be surprised if many of these things get broken and then of course then your lathe is no good without that right if you guys enjoyed seeing these patterns get built, please click on the horizontal mill icon here. Get yourself subscribed and make sure to come back for the next episode. We'll see you guys around.